Yo, this club, I'm on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. I'm going to be showing you some replays today. Now, if you saw my previous video, I said that the two videos um, coming after the Dark Magician Diamond Rank video were supposed to be coming out before that, and I just wanted to get the Diamond Rank video as soon as, um, just out as soon as possible. So here I used Fusion Deployment and showed my boy Master of Chaos, so I summoned Dark Magician. Then I used Magician Souls to summon another Dark Magician. Now, here's the thing. I have Secret Village of the Spellcasters, um, Eternal Soul and Skill Drain. So what can my opponent really do to be honest, unless they run a Spellcaster? So here they, yeah, obviously using Sprite, because um, you know these monsters you see a lot in Sprite decks. So I use Skill Drain, which a lot of people are complaining about, which I find very funny, like I lick those salty tears uh, if you're complaining about Skill Drain and Summon Limit, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, summoning more than 10 monsters with a bunch of negates and broken effects is fine, but one trap card stopping all that. Oh, oh, oh hang on, whoa, 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 hang on a minute. That's just not fair. Run Harpy's Feather Duster, you fool. But yeah, in this video, I'm not running Summon Limit, because like I said, it's before I decided to put Summon Limit in my deck. However, the next Dark Magician video will have Summon Limit, because... Yeah, that's when I originally thought of Summon Limit um, with this deck. Because, uh, you know, I'm running into a lot of sprites. So, yeah, it says Summon Limitless. Um, so, here they use Branded Fusion. <laughs> I almost said Brain Dead Fusion, but I had to correct myself and say Branded. But it's so true. It's pretty much just straight up Brain Dead Fusion. So, they couldn't do anything. I was like, what the hell? Like, did you just get Monsters Only? Sweet. And I got Secret Village of the Spellcasters, and I was like, well, you lose. So I summoned Dark Magician with Magician Souls. And then I used Fusion Deployment to summon another Dark Magician. They used Ash Blossom, so I used Called by the Grave. So I guess they just only had monsters. Or they might have... I don't know. I guess just some monsters. Hand traps maybe? I don't know. So I negated um, Ash Blossom. So I showed my boy Master of Chaos, Summon Dark Magician, and then I attacked and attacked. And then I used Secrets of Dark Magic to go into the Dark Magicians. Let me just, uh, where's the animation? Honestly, I was hoping we'd get an animation, but no. It'd be really nice if we had like a high quality render of the Dark Magicians, but yeah. So I drew Soul Servant and I was like, oh man, I'm living, I'm living. So I got Eternal Soul. Um, you know, just, oh, that was amazing. Like, a perfect draw. That was such a perfect draw. So, yeah, now my opponent cannot use spell cards, and they use branded. So, here, yeah, they're also using Thunder Dragon. So, I was like, oh, okay, so you're a Thunder Dragon branded deck. Almost said brain dead again, but yeah, branded. Um, see, so they summoned these two monsters. They got rid of that to summon that. Um, then I used Eternal Soul quickly. To draw a card with the Dark Magicians, and I got Maxi, and I was like, come on, man. Now you give me Maxi. Now you give me Maxi. <laughs> so I summoned Dark Magician Girl and Dark Magician. Yeah, they pretty much can't really, like, deal too much damage to me right now. Perfect defense. So I used Eternal Soul to special summon Dark Magician from my graveyard. I went into defense position just in case. So here they sent that from their deck to the graveyard. My opponent, um, sorry, opponent only has like 200 life points. I used um, Dark Magical Circle and then I summoned Dark Magician with Eternal Soul. I went to banish that monster and then they activated an effect and targeted itself. I don't know what they were doing, but got banished. So like I said, I noticed I had um, 200 life points. So the best way to defeat this guy right now is just to go into Black Luster Soldier. So I summoned Maxi after all of these effects happen. Like they're getting another turn anyway. So I summoned Maxi, went into Black Luster Soldier. I could have XC summoned into Ebon and take some damage, summon another spellcaster like Apprentice, but too much effort. Just summon Black Luster Soldier, attack and win. So yeah. This duel is only two turns, so I'm assuming that <laughs> They weren't happy with something I did, or I don't know. I don't remember. Um, what happens here, actually? So, 
I think I'm going first. Ah, oh, yep, yep. It's 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 over. GG. This is like such an amazing hand. So I used um, Magician's Rod to get Secrets of Dark Magic. I was just thinking. Um, I wanted to say this actually. I didn't use Terraforming first because I wanted um, you know, Magician's Rod to get negated if they do have Ash Blossom, but they didn't. So I used Terraforming, um, and then I used my effect to draw a card. Got Dark Magical Circle. Oh, I'm living. <laughs> And then I got uh, Magician Solvation, which allows me to get Eternal Soul. Um, and then I played, uh, you know, Secrets. I'm um, sorry, Secret Village of the Spellcasters. I was about to say Secrets of Dark Magic. Um, so yeah, now I have like a free banish. They can't play spell cards. So here, oh yeah, they're using a Punk deck. So I use Soul and Judgment on this uh, normal summon card. And then I was able to draw a card. They went to use that um, to negate the Dark Magician's effect. I use Ash Blossom uh, just to stop it. However, they can do it again if I activate another monster effect, but I'm not really activating another monster effect right now. So I got Skill Drain, <laughs> and I set it down, and then they ended their turn. So I summoned Dark Magician of Eternal Soul and banished that face down, which was not waking the dragon, by the way, luckily, and then they left. Cool. I just realized that these were the duels that happened during the time I was in Platinum 2. So, yeah, Dark Magician Battle of Chaos Support, um, adding that to my normal Dark Magician deck just got me all the way there. And then around, yeah, Platinum 2 to 1 and Diamond, I used Summon Limit, which helped me a lot. So here are they, another sprite deck, so I used Maxi. Um, they couldn't negate it, so I was pretty happy because now they have to special summon this monster and I draw a card. Then they link summoned into Sprite Elf and I kept drawing cards. I was like, alright, I'm fine with this, thank you. So I kept drawing cards and then they ended their turn. I guess they just want to summon those cards only. So I used um, that spell card to get an um, illusion of chaos from my deck to my hand. Then they activated the effect to target this monster, so I used Called by the Grave. I was hoping they would negate it, but they didn't, so they played um, that Sprite Spell card to special summon a Sprite monster from their deck. And I used Ash Blossom, and I'm like, you're drinking Coca-Cola today, not Sprite. We don't have Sprite. So yeah. Um, <laughs> stupid. Anyway. Um, they summoned that monster. Yeah, they finally used that effect, I believe. Oh, was that the monster one, actually, not the spell one? I can't, it won't let me check because there's so many things happening. Your opponent activate. Oh, it's a monster effect one. Okay, never mind, never mind. I thought it was the spell or trap one. So here they used the effect to get that from their deck to their hand. So I used um, terraforming. I didn't care if it got negated because I pretty much already have Secret Village with the spellcasters and Magician Salvation. I got rid of um, Secret Village because, you know, I don't really need another one. So I used Magician's Rod, um, but they used Infinite Permanence. So I used Super Polymerization, <laughs> just so Infinite Permanence doesn't affect Magician's Rod. So I stole this monster, I believe. And yeah, I got Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. So here, yeah, I got Secrets of Dark Magic. Unfortunately, I couldn't go into Artemis because I wanted to summon Master of Chaos, but I still wanted to summon Master of Chaos anyway, which I did. Look at my boy. Oh my god, I love Master of Chaos so much. Master of Chaos is such a chad. Gotta love Master of Chaos. But anyway, here, they banished my Master of Chaos when I'm supposed to be the one that's banishing their monsters. But I still could summon Dark Magician because of Master of Chaos's effect. Unfortunately, because it wasn't sent to the graveyard, I couldn't get any spell card from my deck to my hand. Ah, uh, graveyard to my hand. And then I played Secret Village of the Spellcasters and Skill Drain, and I'm just like, good luck. Good luck, sprite deck. Good luck. Played that. Skill Drain. See ya later. No? I don't know why, but they XC summoned into this. And... It's like, you still lose. You got 2,000... 700 life points. Magician Souls went to summon another Dark Magician. And then I went to attack and then they left. It's like, shouldn't you have left before? You knew you couldn't win. So, uh, alright. Like, yeah. Right, it's going to be the last duel. And then um, the video after this will have summon limit. 
Um, but yeah, just I'm still happy that I'm in Diamond. Like, it just makes me happy because I've been wanting to do that with Dark Magician ever since I got there, blue wise, you know. But just had to wait for the uh, Battle of Chaos support. And also, people taking advantage of um, Sprite really helped. People taking advantage of Sprite really helped um, because, you know, <laughs> Summon Limit just destroyed them. This is actually a really good duel against Labyrinth. So I used Soul Servant after I used Dark Magical Circle. They didn't use their trap card yet, so I was pretty happy. I was like, oh, sweet. So I got Magician Souls. And then I used Secrets of Dark Magic. Um, the thing is, I didn't summon uh, Magician's Rod because I knew they were going to play this, which will destroy my hand. So I just quickly want to fuse as soon as possible. So here, yeah, they destroyed the Dark Magicians. Um, instead of destroying my hand which you know I was fine with so here they activated all of these effects um, but yeah I was hoping they would destroy the Dark Magicians instead of Eternal Soul for my hand so here they got Pot of Extravagance um, with you know that rock monster so I summoned Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl and then I used Soul Servant to draw two cards Anyway, they activated that to destroy all of my spell cards, which kind of sucks, you know. Just very unfortunate. So, Super Polymerization got destroyed, which would have been perfect here. So, I had to go a little bit big brain mode here. So, some of you wonder why do I use some of the Dark Magician Xyz monsters. Well, here's a perfect example. I summon Dark Magician. I went into this Ebon Xyz. I attacked. Yep, got destroyed. Guess what I get to do now? I was originally going to destroy this and then summon a Spellcaster from my deck and then attack, attack. But then I'm, I'm like, hang on, what if I destroy Pot of Extravagance, summon Apprentice, right? Attack with Dark Magician Girl, destroy that Labyrinth Monster. Now they can't draw two cards and they have skill drain on the field. So I set down Eternal Soul and yeah, I felt great. Um, honestly, that was better than what I was originally, um, you know, planning and it worked. So I used Eternal Soul to special summon Dark Magician. You only win when you go first. Uh, okay, sure. Um, so I got Illusion of Chaos. So I used Illusion of Chaos. Um, I got Tamias, just in case. Just in case. Like, I didn't really know what else to get. So I attacked and attacked. And then I used Eternal Soul to Special Summon Dark Magician. And I attacked and it was GG. Love that animation. I really got to use that animation with Dark Magician Girl. Sometimes I forget about it, that's why. So like I said, Summon Limit wasn't in this deck. I actually had Solemn Judgment, but then I took him out for Summon Limit. But yeah, uh, next replay will be this deck with Summon Limit. Um, but yeah, just still happy that it got me to Diamond Rank. I'm trying something new with Dark Magician. I don't know if it's really working out or not. I'll see. Just want to try Forbidden Drop instead of this. Um, and yeah, because you know, sometimes when I duel against Sword Soul and I don't go first, you know, it's a bit tricky because there's not really much super polymerization targets, so yeah. And then sometimes they play that monster where... Well, I guess Forbidden Drop it wouldn't help me unless I go first. That monster where they summon it and they choose an attribute. And if they always pick Dark, so it just screws me over. So yeah. Um, so two Solemn Judgments originally, but if you want to use it the way I have it now, it's just going to be two summon limits. Or... You could take one illusion out and have one solemn judgment just in case. Just in case. Alright, going to end it here. Thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye.